The Pringles. Sure. <laughs> has launched its first refresh since 2018 with a new mind-popping global campaign as the ad ramps up the use of humor. Chips that hug your tongue. Mm. <laughs> okay. I'm waiting for the humor. Yeah. <laughs> waiting. Any, any day. Have you ever seen the, you've seen the app Cameo where you get stars yes. to like play videos for you? Mm -hmm. They're going beyond celebrity videos with NFT membership. No. <laughs> it's almost funny like how every brand, it's like NFTs metaverse. There's everything in NFT now. The As a man that has, yeah, that has four, four kids. Sure. Runs four businesses pretty much sure. now and wants to show my wife appreciation and love it does put like you get another day to like like to yeah. go that that this day has to be the day you're listening to the radcast if it's radical we cover it here's your host ryan alford Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the latest edition of the Rad Cast. It's Friday, February 11th, 2022. Welcome to our weekly marketing and news. I'm joined by my lovely co-host, <laughs> <laughs> Joe Hamrick. I was wondering what you were going to say. I appreciate that. Yeah, you love. Hey, it's Valentine's Day next week, so you're lovely. I feel lovely. <laughs> I feel lovely. Yes, yes. How's it going, Joe? It's going great, man. I, that You know, that brings up a, a good question for you. Are you prepared for Valentine's Day? You know, I get, I am prepared. Um, I'm going to be buying my card today. Sure. And then we're going to Turks and Caicos next week. You are. And we are taking the kids, but we leave the day after Valentine's. So, or two days after. Two days. Yeah. So, in, number one, it's a Monday night. We have all the kids and we're packing. So, I get a little bit out of, you know, we both get out of needing to do sure. something. So, we'll do something I don't know when we get Turks or something. Yeah. You know, we'll That's give each other cards. I might take her a flower or something, you know. Sure. Sure. The, the card thing is pretty much what we do. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Dinner, cards. Something, but. yeah. Depends on the day of the week. And Monday is like, yeah, bummer. Exactly. So, have you been watching any of the Winter Olympics? I have been watching the shit out of the Winter really? Olympics. Really? Yes. Yeah, I ask a lot of people that, and it's like, fewer than you'd think. Some people are like, I didn't know they were going on. and Really? But I'm, I've been watching them. It's a welcome distraction. I kind of like it. Yeah. It's like, all right, I... I think I might even like more the winter games than the summer games. Like as the overall, overall like balance of the of the things. Like because sure. I can sit there and watch some luge. Yeah. Oh yeah. I can sit there and watch. Uh, the downhill skiing is dope. The, the downhill skiing, the the snowboarding, oh, yeah. flipping. Uh, I can get into the speed skating even a little bit. Oh, sure. It's, I'm always waiting on someone to fall. Uh, that's that's. <laughs> I sit there. I'm like, <laughs> oh god, you're yeah. right on top of one each other. Yeah. I thought you're gonna either slice somebody's leg with one, or they're gonna fall. How do they not do that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm like imagining me hitting the sound oh after one lap. I'm gonna like, like stand up probably. Yeah. No. What, what is your favorite event? Uh, you just have to choose one. Just one, one favorite event specific. I like downhill skiing a lot. Mm -hmm. It's exciting. And then I do like the big air jump stuff sure. quite a bit. I'm not giving you one. I'm giving you three. You, and lot. then the snowboarding, like the half pipe. I like I that. I liked it quite a bit. So I, my favorite is when they race on the snowboards and there's like four of them. That oh, is pretty exciting. They crash into each other they so do. bad. It's so bad. I mean, I was going to say curling, but <laughs> sure. Well, that's Nick's favorite. I think but. I know. I'm a good sweeper. Like, are you? I have to ask your wife. How was Ryan at sweeping? He's a good sweeper. <laughs> I don't think I've touched a broom. And... <laughs> is it a really or just a broom that they use? It's a special broom, probably. Is it just trying to like rough the ice up so it stops? I thought they're was, trying to make it go the faster. It's the opposite, make it right? Go faster. They're trying to make it go faster, right? You have no idea. Nick has no Nick idea. Nick has no idea. Uh, they're trying to make it go faster. Yeah, I think so. I um, I've been enjoying it. Uh, the guy won gold in the figure skating the other night. Chin, sure did. But Nathan, Johnny Chin, Nathan, John, Nathan Chin. We should know American should that's, know that won a gold medal's name, and his last name is Chin, and yeah. he's a badass. He yeah. does like quadruple, I don't know what's like all over the place. It makes it, I he does, he spins four times better than I'd spend once. Oh my God, yeah. On the ice, especially. No, no I'd like to see you do a, a nope. double axle, triple nah. Lutz. No, I'm going to pass on that. As you, <laughs> as you know this, as you get a little bit older, a fall on the ice. Ugh, Might no. not be as pleasant as it once had been when you were younger. Yeah. Ice is hard. Read my lips. 
Mm. No. That's that's what I think about falling on the ice. Yeah, that sucks. It's no good. The uh, how's the week been? It's been good. Been good. Busy. We got a. Uh, this is the time of year where you got soccer and basketball and et cetera and all we're, coming together. Oh, I'm just driving everywhere. Yeah, me too. I got tonight. I've got swim team and Are basketball you, season just ended. You've got more kids going. Than oh right yeah, too, dude. So. I'm like uh, yeah. basketball take four. Four boys, uh, swim team going, soccer starting, basketball ending, and beer drinking starting. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like, eh, give me a cold one. Get, put in a thermos. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> on the way. Eh, I've never done that ever. Nope, never. Wouldn't admit uh, to it. Wouldn't ever. <laughs> <laughs> Only way to make it through. Yep. Um, not because I don't enjoy it, but you know, you kind of get bored like sitting there watching swimming, especially practice, like practice, practice, practice swimming. There's mm. very few things like I can even watch practice basketball. You know, they'll scrimmage, they'll do bad. things, and then I coach one, and you know, obviously that's interesting because sure. I'm in the action. You have to be, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thermos stays home for that, but sure. but it, watching swimming, mm. no good. It's, uh, very boring. I would even watching swimming competitions, although it is your child, so. But there's a lot of races that your child is not in. Yes. Correct. A, a lot. And it's probably hot. Swim there teams also. are f- the worst. It's probably hot. Three hours in yep. between races. Get out of here. Blow my brains out. Um, so, in a bit, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, literally, yeah. it's not well, fun. Nope. Uh, I remember my parents having to do it. I have a new appreciation for them. It's like, ugh. I, there's, I did swim team for about two weeks, and I was like, I hate this so much. I'm quitting. Yeah. I know. Have you been following all the you Joe know. Rogan stuff? You know. I do. I know. You know my biography. I do so know well. It. I do. Uh, we grew up together. Yeah, well, it's true. Uh, I have seen the Joe Rogan thing. Uh, he is in hot water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the bottom line. It was kind of bad before, and then when they put together that video, it was a bad look. So we. So and he even said it as like, "This is a terrible look." Let's just come out and say that we. Last week or week before, we're like, he can say, you know, we we, su- we support him saying whatever. He, like, it's free <laughs> not speech, that, though. but not that. That's the one where you don't. Yeah, he yeah. just don't. And I, I hadn't, I don't listen to his podcast enough to know or aggregate in my mind every time he had talked about that. Right. So um, that was not right and stupid. And <laughs> it's like, I don't even know why you go there. Understand you know? here. Why? Why? Yeah. And obviously it was, it wasn't all like this past year or something wasn't like over time i think so like how many times he'd yeah. use certain words and things so it's, it's just uh, like all right that's you know. a career killer buddy yeah i don't know I, well <laughs> i don't you'll probably make more money to go on another platform maybe not for him yeah like yeah a kkk uh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> whatever yes. yeah idiots are us yeah no i mean he can't, i thought his apology was okay i mean he i mean i, I don't know what you're gonna say i mean but i thought he was contrite he seemed like he meant it yeah he did yeah so it's and like I, look, I wouldn't want people aggregating out of context comments that I've made my entire life. But I can say, sure, with absolute certainty that no one could put that video together on anything I've ever said. I don't think that anyone has ever recorded me saying anything, or like, I've anywhere even, near I'm that. I'm just bad. saying whether they've recorded me or not. I've never used that word to that degree. Sure. Oh, no. I might have stated it in a discussion of like factual stuff and even when i did that like once i was like i probably shouldn't say don't that say word it. and it wasn't even like in context of that it was sure. like okay you don't because you say it and you're just like all right there's no reason to say it there's no reason to yeah it's there's, like there's especially especially now as time changes and people get exactly. more well you know what but you know progressive and as you realize things are dumb as shit exactly so anyway, but I do still support his ability to talk and have free speech, but it's not that just, much, just, yeah. just, just, you know, I don't know. It's so easy to not. Hey, I'm look at me. Look, everybody. I'm not saying it right now. Yes. And I can, it's super you can, easy. You could be a contrarian without uh, yeah talking about Using just slurs. shit that, that, that just I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, look, Nick's not saying the N word right now as well. Yeah, he's not. Look, good job, Nick. It's, good. it's easy. It's good. It's very easy. Mm-hmm. But uh, anyway, on uh, on the business front, so Facebook stock's been taking a beating the last week. Has it? Yeah, their uh, daily active users has been stagnant. They're not growing anymore. Mm. But I do have a trick. There, a, a well, a trick, a trick to Facebook. A tr- a little <laughs> bit of a tip, tip and a trick. Sure. Uh, because here's what I've noticed. So if you're out there listening and you're on Facebook ads. 
typically the effectiveness of Facebook ads over time has been going down. Sure. Costs go up, effectiveness goes down a little bit. And I'm just about overall, I'm not saying they don't work. They absolutely do work. But because the crowdedness of the platform and more and more people running ads, right. more and more attention on different things, so thus it fights for how effective your stuff is. Right. I will say there are little troubles lately. They've 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 jigged the algorithm to where it's actually more effective right now. So if you're out there running Facebook ads, I'd pump your budgets up. Yeah. Because I think they've they took a little bit of bath on on Wall Street and with the stock. Sure. I think they're wanting more people to come on the you know, to, they're people that run ads, they want them to run more ads because people are kind of falling off. Yeah. And I think it's short term you can get a better value right now. I, how long until Facebook like expires basically like never you don't think so because because mm -hmm. young people think it's an old person's platform well let me say never okay but i think if they do what they want to do with the metaverse sure that's their attempt that's at. their attempt at the youth mm -hmm. and if that can become get hold and, and it's a big if i sure. don't know but if they but they have enough money to make it yeah. come to happen if they play their cards right sure to Which, develop the platform in a way that, you know, younger generations want to use it, start to mainstream it. And it also helps when the parents are still on it because then they authorize the kids to use it. And, right. and so I don't think they're out of the game by any means. But no. but admittedly, yeah, fewer youth are on it. But there's still a lot of 35 to 65-year-olds oh, using yeah. Facebook. Sure. And even like Facebook groups and certain things that even if you aren't on your feed all day mm – -hmm. Facebook Marketplace. There's just reasons to go into the platform, and they're catching you with ads, and so thus they're selling. There's a lot of viable business within Facebook yeah. that may not be scrolling through the feed like it used to. Sure, that might that that use that of it's sense. changing. Yeah, it's going to be a different. Or using Facebook Messenger. It. You might not. There, I know people that don't ever go on Facebook, but they use Facebook Messenger all day. Hmm. So really? yeah, I'm not saying it's a majority, but there are people. There are people that do it. Yeah. And so, and it, you know, it's when you know it's in Facebook Messenger, don't you? What ads in the feed? <laughs> they oh, have yeah? they have ads in your Facebook Messenger feed. Really? Yes. I haven't looked at it in a minute. So, it's Yikes. uh, they're gonna get you one way or another. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> too big. They're too big to. Know. I will say though, if you're running Facebook ads, bump your budgets up right now. In the short term, you'll get more value. Right Just, now, that's your tip of the day. Do it right now. Stock tip, ad tip of the day. Um, it's been a good week on the Radcast, Jared Johnston country music artist number one hit maker and just a cool mofo mm -hmm. was uh on on tuesday it's been one of our most popular guest episodes in a long time i've looked at our numbers we've had almost thirty thousand downloads oh wow in three days the one episode yeah wow so uh we're up to now and appreciate everybody listening for this we're gonna hit two hundred thousand downloads in february really we're on pace for that and that's this and the other yeah, like total, total down. Yeah, the total radcast, total okay. episodes of any episode. Yeah, whether wow. a guest episode or this news episode. Yeah, that's exciting. We had over 110 last month, but we're on we're on target to almost double it in February. Are we famous now? <laughs> that's the question uh, I have. Read my lips. No, okay. well, <laughs> no. darn it. I know. I thought but sure. we do appreciate everybody listening. Hope you're getting a lot out of it. We're going to keep trying harder to make it even better. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you you give it your best. We can only go up from here, I think. <laughs> the only place to go is up. Yes, yes, oh. yes. Uh, yes. Thank you. Next week, officially, I think I mentioned Don last week, and I may have been out of context. Don Yeager, Sports mm -hmm. Illustrated writer, speaker, all around motivational guy. Yeah. Don's great. He'll be on next week. He wrote a great story on Walter Payton right when he was – Walter Payton asked him to kind of tell the story of his final days. Really? And he was with Walter Payton. He talks about that. Wow. Um, I don't think I mentioned that last week. You really want to get a, 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 a copy of that, of his book and his, or his story around that. And um, whether you're a Bears fan or not, uh, but Don talked about that and that experience. But uh, a lot of great insights from Don Yeager next week. And, uh, you know – we had this week we recorded Heidi Cortez. She was uh, really cool. She's an entrepreneur now. She has a long history in media and otherwise. She was on the Howard Stern Show for like six months. Really? 
she did bedtime stories on that. Oh on, boy, <laughs> I, I know. And look, she's she's left that in the past, and, she, and she's she's a beautiful woman. Sure, but it was just it was fascinating, you know, how she leveraged that into success, and now she's like got three or four businesses. So I don't bring that up to slight her. I actually give her a lot of credit, <laughs> right, for how she transitioned and just use that as a bouncing point into stuff. But uh, you got to start yeah. somewhere, buddy. <laughs> yeah, right? exactly. I mean. And she wasn't as scared to like, you know, take the moment and run with it. Good for her. Yeah. So uh, good for her. That'll be out in a few weeks. You don't ever let me meet those people. I feel like I feel like I'm isolated <laughs> yeah. from, keep from you the from celebrities. Them. Keep you from there's a method to the madness. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure there is. Oh, <laughs> uh, without further ado. Mm-hmm. It's time for another absurd holiday. There's no shortage of dumb things to celebrate. A red cast social media holiday segment. Yeah. Yes, Friday, February 11th. We've got, I mean, it's a lot of week. days. Highlight of my week every day. A lot week. of days. It should be. It is. Yeah, that's I don't have you, a lot going on. I yeah. don't have a lot going on. There's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days in one on today, the 11th, Friday. Good, so, uh, good heads up. For I everybody. want you to start by getting out there and celebrating. Don't cry over spilled milk day. All right. <laughs> That's hey, I won't. Uh yeah. I, I can pretty much guarantee I won't. What what would you what's that analogy over? Don't cry over spilled milk. Uh yeah, my I used to hear that a lot when I was a kid. I guess once something bad once happens, it's done, it's, it's over. Done, okay. Move on, right? Yeah, like clean just clean it up. up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Clean the shit Stop up. Stop crying over, just get it cleaned up yeah i don't need your tears just to yeah. execute i'd appreciate everyone not spilling anything and making me cry over it before the stays over i'm trying to think of what could would could be spilled that i would cry over <clears throat> my kids spill everything oh my god dude i mean dude i don't even want to like, talk about that <laughs> and look my wife would tell me i kind of spill shit too everywhere yeah. i'm like i'm not my wife would make me out to be a an unneat freak. I'm neater than most guys. Sure. But to my wife, who's type A O C D, mm -hmm. I'm un unkept, Listen. you know, like yeah. and so uh and I'm not <laughs> look, I know who my friends are. Right. And let me tell you, I am a neat freak compared to them. Sure. And especially you. Yeah. Oh but, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. But but in all seriousness, my kids do spill shit everywhere. My uh, adult daughter, look we're gonna go adult because she technically I, the number of times I've seen her drop a huge drink, I, I don't even have enough fingers to count it. <laughs> Movie theaters, restaurants, yeah. the house, boom, everywhere, dude. Mm. Do you cry over it? No. I laugh <laughs> over it. You know who cries over it is the people that work where we are, usually. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Guess yeah, what, bud? Got to get that up. There's 44 gallons of Sprite on the ground now. <laughs> you need to uh, grab a yeah, mop. Yeah, the, the, the small at the movie theater is like, uh, you know, like you can't get your hands around I have around a vivid it. memory of watching <laughs> that slip out of her hand and just... Slow-mo. Regal, Regal Cinemas. Yeah. yeah. Good times. Very good. It's also National Guitar Day. We have guitars in the room. You have two guitars. You want, you want to play a jingle real quick together? I don't, you know I don't play guitar. Uh, I don't know. I'll play for you. You play? I'll play. Uh, maybe next time. Maybe yeah. next year. Maybe we'll next, celebrate yeah. it. Uh, it's counter. also oh, National Inventors Day. Sure. Did you invent me anything today? I didn't. I didn't know. We really only find out about these things day of, so I, don't, I didn't have time. <laughs> okay. I thought maybe time change or something. You know, like something cool. No. no, no. <laughs> did you say timeshare? Yeah, timeshare. Yeah. <laughs> did you invent timeshares? I wonder who did. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. They, everybody hates them, huh? Whoever oh, my they God. Are. <laughs> All I see is the lawyer commercials on TV for uh, timeshares. Getting out of timeshares. Getting out of timeshares. Why does anybody sign up for a timeshare anymore? You, know. People know it sucks. Do you have yeah. a timeshare, Nick? I don't want to offend you. Yeah. You would know. He does. He timeshare does. Oh Myrtle God. Beach Pavilion. He does. He spends so much time down there. <laughs> He's down there shagging. He is. Shagging, shagging his machine. Way. He is a shagging national champion. National champion? Yes, he is. No. Yeah, he is. From Let's when? Let's not make it up. I don't know. In college, right? But then, like, you're still in it. He's still once a national champion. You're always a national. Okay, champion. sure, sure. Right. National champion, Nick. Yes. He doesn't talk about it. No, but he should. It's because he doesn't turn his mic on. Oh, that's why we don't turn his mic on. <laughs> <laughs> he has the option. Yeah. I mean, there's mics. He does. No, national Shag Day. We, we'll we'll get Nick oh. to like do a shag dance with. Had to bring a partner in though. Yeah. Or you? Nah. Well. <laughs> Let's find somebody else. <laughs> yeah, it'd be better. <laughs> uh, it's also National. No offense, Nick. Make a friend day. Oh, hug a cop. Hug a cop. <laughs> Any of the one of the boys in blue here today? <laughs> I mean, 
Yeah, okay. Make a friend. I don't think I'm going to. I'm, I might do it. I when I go to the drive through like Subway or something. Sure. Like, make a friend. I have enough friends. I yeah, uh, yeah. Maybe too many. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, maybe. This guy. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know. <sighs> Poor Nick. Oh. National champion, though. National champion. I mean, I'm, I'm not even making fun. That's seriously impressive. Mm. Hallelujah. We'll have to do a show about that. National Peppermint Patty Day. Okay. Today. The character from Charlie Brown or the, <laughs> yes, the candy? Yes, that's the candy. Okay. Eh. Uh, yeah, I like peppermint patty. They're okay. They're okay. It's not like a favorite. I well, get, sure. Like I eat so little chocolate candy yeah. now that if I was choosing, it's gonna be so far down the line that I'm rarely gonna have it. It's like one of those if I go to like, you know, my my in laws and occasionally she'll have like oh, a, yeah. a like a a bucket of or a little candy tray older. And if I'm like yeah. starving and lunch is taking a little tong a little too long to make, yeah. and there's a peppermint pattern. Okay. You hold me one. over. Yeah, you crush, crush one. one. Or seven. Yeah. You remember the commercials <laughs> they used to have where they'd bite into them and they'd be like skiing all of a sudden? Oh yeah. That was good. Those that was good commercials. Good. I like those. Yeah. They should bring those back for the Olympics probably. Yeah. It's National White Shirt Day. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and we all have every dark, dark shirt on. on yeah. yeah. All right. White well, shirt day. We tried. Finally, today, Friday, February 11th, is National No One Eats Alone Day. Okay. <laughs> well, I probably will be eating alone. I'm today. definitely going to have lunch by myself. My dog will be there, I guess. Yeah. So I yeah, guess no. technically. Yeah, that's, that's someone sad. or something. So sad. So sad. <sighs> okay. Saturday, February 12th. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. International Darwin Day. Like Darwin is. I know who that is. Yeah, Charles just, Darwin? No, no. Father of Evolution. Well, sure, I got it. <laughs> well aware. I don't. What do you do though? Uh, I don't know. They go to ancestry. dot com. Sure. <laughs> no, they know. say they say that what they say the Darwin Awards are like when people do stupid stuff and like get killed or hurt or something like that. Maybe it's yeah. that day. Yeah. Watch some fails on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what fail. What does that have to do with it? Well, like you're stupid. Like that's why they say the Darwin because you haven't like technically evolved. Yeah. And, yeah. Know, it's not a great analogy. Just, what's the next one? Did you say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> National Freedom to Marry Day. I, you know, for I mean, I guess it maybe it didn't say I didn't get this context sex. in my show notes, but maybe in I don't know same, same sex, sex L, LB GTQ yeah GTQ plus. plus you know thing whatever uh, if you want to marry marry I think uh, it's know. already a thing right I think it is some states maybe it's not but really. Hey. Whatever it is, just if you want to marry, you know, yeah, be marry, you. go you want, marry, yeah. marry who you want. Yeah. Um, wear what you dig. Mar wear what you dig. National Plum Pudding Day. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds yeah, uh, You know, this is good. <laughs> I want to really get it down. Yeah. I, there's, I, don't, I don't want any plum pudding, like, anywhere. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> who I, eats plum pudding? Uh, is it a Christmas thing? Yeah, uh, February twelfth. Plum pudding. <sighs> Pass. Pass. Uh February thirteenth, Sunday. Mm -hmm. Galentine's Day. Sure. Where all the girls get together. Uh, okay. Galentine's the gals okay. get together. Well. Have the party. Yeah, I think it's for all the uh, you know Lonely. Lonely spinsters, yeah. Yeah. The, the girls that hate men and they get together and Talk about how they hate men and they're glad they don't have one. Sure, it'd be a good place to pick up chicks, though. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be at the Galentine's party. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where's that Galentine's party again? Yeah, uh, it's at. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. It's the mail. The mail review. Chili's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, mail hustler. In yeah. Las Vegas. Down at the Galentine's party. Convention center. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Convention center. <laughs> uh, the sex toy convention. Sure. Center. Sure. Yeah. That's. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm gonna head out there. Yeah. The yeah. secondly, it's National Dildo. Uh, no. Oh boy. <laughs> to go with Galentine's. I'm sure uh, there is a day though. Probably. It's yeah. not tomorrow. No. Nope. Or Sunday. <laughs> uh, it's National Get a Different Name Day on Sunday. Okay. Like a nickname or Meta World Peace. Like sure. Run our, <laughs> run our test. Run our test or Yay. Yay. Kanye. Sure. Uh, he's, he kind of you. He's used this quite a few times. Sean Puffy comes. Up. Yeah, Diddy. Diddy. Uh, I don't know, Diddy. Prince. Yeah. God rest sexy yeah, soul. Just the, sig just the sign. Yeah. I know. It's also National Cheddar Day on Sunday. Oh, of course it is. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's Sunday. It's the Super Bowl. 
Super Bowl oh, Sunday. Shit. I'm gonna have that some was cheddar. the last one on here. Probably should have been the first, but sure. you know, hey, Cheddar Day, National Cheddar Day is on Sunday, and it's National Tortellini Day as well. Okay, I like tortellini. So, uh, it's a lot of Valentine's cars. Day fighting with Super Bowl. Uh oh, gals. <laughs> I want to move Hallelujah. back to a different day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I guess it's safe to go out if the girls wanted to go out and, like, yeah, they're not going to see Valentine's. a bunch of dudes, probably. Yeah. They're right, all going to be watching the Super Bowl. With cheese on their face. Yeah. Tortellinis in their mouth. <laughs> if the Packers were in it, it would be like a weird, perfect marriage of cheddar and Super Bowl. Yeah. Right? Too bad. Yeah, they, they suck. Fucked it up. They're idiots. And there you have it. It's time for another absurd holiday. There's no shortage of dumb things to celebrate. The Redcast Social Media Holiday Segment. Yeah. 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 It's a great you song. know, Monday is Valentine's Day, so yep. we'll, we'll throw that in a little bonus sure. extra. And just in case you didn't know, it's cream filled chocolate day too on Valentine's Day on, on Monday. No, that actually. We didn't really sense. have time to get to them, but uh, you know, we're gonna get to them. <laughs> yeah, I mean that makes that, that one actually makes sense. It does, sure. Oh, false start. Trends in the metaverse. Times are ticking. We got we got to get to these trends. Yeah. Hub, the company, it's an insurance broker. Sure. Becomes the first metaverse ready insurance broker. <laughs> insurance in the metaverse. Uh, I think. Look, we were kidding around a couple months ago yeah. about all the bullshit that was coming in the metaverse. Yeah. This one didn't. We didn't get there jokingly, we you know. Have, probably meta lawyers, meta masseuse, right? Meta insurance agent. Here it is. What are you insuring? Ah, uh, your real estate <laughs> in the metaverse. Challenge insurer Hub has announced that it's preparing for a shift to the metaverse. Sure. With the aid of investment in VR devices and hybrid onboard infrastructure, the insurance brand, oh. which was founded in 2019, has been regularly <laughs> hosting meetings. In Oculus's Horizon workrooms via the company's investment in VR devices. Mm. So, well, that is a lot of words, wasn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> you read in other there. words, they're really pre they're preparing for the metaverse by having company meetings in video games. That's what sure. I read there. What, so <laughs> I I go back and forth. Would that be cool or would that just be stupid? Like if if right like if if like you were like all right we're gonna have a meeting everybody put on your fucking deals but in, in it, what this really boils down to is if you want to put on your VR headset sure to have a meeting with your insurance rep mm -hmm. you can conduct that meeting in the metaverse together okay so maybe you can play like a little virtual basketball yeah, while you're talking yeah, about exactly. your rates sure be like hey I could save you a lot on that plan yeah and be like well right, can we get a little game of uh, Roblox in real quick and, yeah. then, uh, and then bounce we'll back and uh, signing some deals circle back yeah, yeah. and then you, what if you fall down you can't get up and then you like oh and then, <laughs> in I mean, the metaverse yeah, you got a lot of problems Interns. there has been uh, Sue you. sexual harassment cases in the metaverse yes there was there's like a couple of them yeah I'm not going to use the term for what how it was described but uh, sure <laughs> <laughs> but uh, back to those things you just don't say better not to say yeah uh, it was quite the story yeah quite the story interesting I, it's hard to wrap your head around a little yeah but uh, I don't know. She needs to call her meta lawyer and get her meta insurance agent involved. That's called it, and the meta uh, police as well. Make a statement. Yeah. In other news, uh, Gucci is doubling down on its commitment to the metaverse. Gucci. Shock. The designer clothing brand announced on Wednesday that it has bought an undisclosed amount of virtual land on the decentralized blockchain game the sandbox sure. oh, excuse me i didn't finish that thought decentralized blockchain game the sandbox it's all central but sure yeah. sure so in the yeah. sandbox and gucci will create themed experiences on the sandbox inspired by its gucci vault platform which lists items like gucci themed nfts and vintage bags sure well <laughs> there that is <laughs> i don't want well, uh. to I don't. Do you own any Gucci at all? Uh, I bought some for my wife. Yeah, that's know. what. I, it's, it's. Is it more for ladies? It's a little bit. Yeah, I think. It, and su and like ultra there rich are, like boxers. And yeah, stuff, probably. yeah. Like I, I can't pull off Gucci, but like no, it's no. It's uh. I think they do have some. They have some men things, but it's it's mainly women. Sure. So, sure. I don't know, man. This stuff is. I get that. Again, we've. This is a dead horse. With, yeah. We're not fighting that stuff's moving digital and our kids like it, but 
all this stuff. It just feels like PR, you know, like to talk about it. Is there, so the land or real estate, is there a finite amount or can you just, is it just. You would think they could just keep making it, right? Right. And that's what I don't understand. So why is it worth anything? Uh, That's what I can't wrap my head on. Because, you know, Snoop Dogg puts up a house somewhere. You want to be next to it. But could he just put it up? Yeah, well, Well. you know. Well, gin and juice. Huh? Yeah, it's fair enough. It's worse things. It's a, it's a pretty gross drink. It's, yeah, it's a pretty gross. Yeah, drink. it's really <laughs> gross. Yeah, you know. But I can think of worse people to live next to. But sure. But at the same time, he could just buy another house down the road. Like it's not his only house. If they if people have like five houses in the real world, yeah. How many houses are they gonna have in the metaverse? Twenty-seven. I I, how do you monetize that? How is it gonna be worth it? Do you have to sell it to somebody else. It's called inflated valuation, Joe. Uh, Joe. Okay, it's, uh, we can talk about that another time. If you yeah, want. <laughs> you know, it, it's uh, it's all a little bit of bullshit right now. It's kind of like a long term, maybe not right now. It's all speculation. Late eighties, early nineties baseball cards. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Inflated value. Yeah. Inflated value worth nothing now. Sure. Because they made too many of them. Too many. Um. I thought this was interesting. Former Twitter and Microsoft executives are building a classroom on the metaverse. So class on the metaverse. The second one, okay, this they're making a couple experiences, but the second one is where one will use a VR headset to be in the actual setting. Sitting in the classroom, having friendly conversations, interacting with avatars, and having a teacher teach in front of them. So yeah. somebody found a way to make the metaverse boring. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like school video game. I want to. Do, it's yeah. it's essentially saying, well, I want to do Xbox in the metaverse, yeah. and but go to school. School and like up. instead of playing uh, Fortnite, I'm having to sit here and watch my teacher and learn about. Yeah, I'd be throwing like Periodic meta tape. airplanes at yeah, the, right. at the teacher, <laughs> cutting meta farts, <laughs> <laughs> meta spitballs. Yeah. Oh yeah. Huh. Yep. Yeah. That's uh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. They made it boring. Former Twitter and Microsoft executives. Well, they're probably boring people as well. No offense. Yeah. So there you have it. Trends in the metaverse. <laughs> the f- the uh, unnatural ending. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, my cough. Yeah. <laughs> you know. It's not. Yeah. It's not great. It's, hey, it's how, <laughs> how we do it. It's uh, it. It wouldn't be if it was too polished. It wouldn't be as good. It wouldn't fit. Yeah. No. So anyway, mm. the Pringles, the Pringles, sure, <laughs> has launched its first refresh since 2018 with the new mind popping global campaign. The campaign kicks off with an ad with a narrator that claims the consumers were made for Pringles. After showing how the chips have the rough have the rough shape of the universe and a human tongue. This theory is then endorsed by Charles Darwin. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. Run As back. the ad ramps up the use of humor. Chips that hug your tongue. Mm. <laughs> okay. I'm That's waiting for the humor. It. Yeah. <laughs> waiting. Any any day. Hugs your tongue. It is kind of the shape of your tongue when you think about it. Like, sure. You know, you get that flavor explosion. You can make the, the duck lips with it. Kind yeah. Of the duck yeah. I kind of like, I do like stacking some flavors sure. of Pringles. Pringles are good you know? as shit. I, mean, I let's know. Not. Let's be honest. It's like, but the thing is, I end up eating like three fourths of like of containers. Yeah. Like, that's the problem. <laughs> it's They're like, so good. It's like uh, you start eating. Well, I'll just have a couple. Yeah. And, and then like, oh. like three minutes later, it's like half, you, you know, you have like fucking hand in the yeah, thing. Yeah. <laughs> a hand stuck. Yeah. Like, I got big hand Damn like, it. stuck in here. I'm like getting Nash to come over and yeah. dig some out. and like, well, Nash, you get some of those. And he starts eating them and then he wants the rest. It's a whole thing. I get like two more. It's a vicious cycle. It's a vicious cycle. It really is. I do though, like me, like a little pizza Pringle with, you know, oh yeah, dude. sour cream and onion or, or something, barbecue or something. Like that. <laughs> They're good. Know. They have the hot ones now too. Oh yeah. They're good. Yes. They're so good. They're so good. <laughs> anyway, mind popping. Yeah. Maybe Pringles should be get on board the Radcast. They need to get. Uh, Somebody needs to. For they need to sake. hire uh, Jack Harlow. And what's popping? Oh uh, yeah. That would be cool. That would be. Pretty and much exactly perfect. The, yeah, well, uh, Pringles call me, uh, yeah. or, or or Orville Redenbacher could hire him as well with the popcorn. So if they really want to make a like a here and now comeback, yeah, 
you know. Yeah, they're kind of old fashioned. Old fashioned. But I mean, they're Orville real, Redenbacher. With the old guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That guy's got to be dead. <laughs> I mean, right? is, there, is there an older name in any of any consumer products? No. <laughs> Orville Redenbacher. I'm more okay. Like, All right. Coming down. Not a lot of brands use yeah. senior citizens with uh, just saying it. I'm like, multi syllabic <laughs> names. I almost yeah. fall asleep. Like, yeah. you know, I imagine. Yeah, Orville Redenbacher. Oh. oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's popping though, Jack Harlow? Yeah, that'd be a sweet campaign. He should, uh, no pun intended. He should, uh, he should do something about that. That song's everywhere still. I've got a sidebar. <laughs> As do we, it. I mean, I, there's so much news to get to, but sure. Speaking of popping, mm-hmm. I did play. Went to the Highlands this past week and lovely little city. Bring your checkbook, but it's it's really yeah. nice. Um, Pop darts. You played those? I have not. It's essentially these darts that have suction cups on them. And it's the equivalent of play bocce ball. Yes. So you know how you have the polling that you try to get the the heavier balls closest sure. to? Yeah. It's essentially that, but with the suction darts, they actually surprisingly stick really well to almost anything. Hmm. Like any hard surface. Like you're not going to say carpet, obviously. Sure. But even like this table, they stick to. Obviously a glass window or glass Perfect. door. Yeah. And uh, pretty fun. Yeah. Pretty fun. Yeah. I'm trying to pick. I'm going to have to look it up. Pop darts. Pop darts. Pop darts. Not to be confused with pop tarts. No. If you throw pop tarts around everywhere, that's probably not Yeah. Fun. Just a bunch of crumbs. It's going to be crumbs everywhere. I, have, yeah. I think my kids throw them around in our house because they're everywhere. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, Michelob Ultra is going to have a lot oh, of. Uh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was surprising news. Sure. Brought to us by uh, the Marketing Dive, themarketingdive.com. We appreciate them for a lot of really good marketing news Absolutely. Uh, that we steal and put on the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we said yeah. that you said the we name. actually borrow them. We're, we're we're giving them pub to their website. You actually. said the name, yeah, I did. Um, Ultra Super Bowl ad. So they've got like four ads running, and uh, on the round Superior Michelob Ultra Superior Bowl. Okay, promotes gender equality in sports. They will run three ads during the Super Bowl. They uh. Are going to have more stars than I can name: Peyton Manning, Alex Morgan, Jimmy Butler, Brooks Kepka, and Serena Williams, amongst others. That's a wide array. Wide array. Uh, they're spending gobs of money. Oh my god! And probably to fight off uh, the fact that the uh, Bud Light's coming out with zero carb beer. I'm kind of interested. Seeing, yeah, seeing I bet. what that yeah. is. You, you're an ultra guy, though. I am. We have it on tap here. Is that what's up there right now? Oh, yeah. I would have had one instead of water. <laughs> there I mean, you go. Honestly, it kind of is. You know? yeah, right. It's not, not far from it. So uh, look out for quite a roll of... They're running some ultra or, organic seltzer ads as well. Okay. I have had the Bud Light uh, seltzer, the sour one. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's not bad for a couple. Sure, It's very sweet. Yeah. Yeah. It gets you after a minute. The... Uh, I thought this was interesting. You ever seen the? You've seen the app Cameo, where you can get stars yes. to like play videos for you. Mm-hmm. So they're going beyond celebrity videos with NFT membership. No, no. <laughs> I mean, it's almost funny, like how every brand is like, <laughs> it's like NFTs, metaverse. It's, everything's an NFT now. NFT metaverse. Starting February seventeenth, people can mint a Cameo pass for access to limited release arts, arts <laughs> or art. <laughs> Events, <laughs> celebrity Q and A's, and early access to new features on the video app. Well, uh, that's good. I'm not doing that. Yeah, passes cost five hundred and fifty dollars as a press time. Press time worth every penny. I probably just should get two then. <laughs> yeah, just get two. <laughs> yeah, double them up. For... Nick, did you want one? I'll get three. You can have one. Yeah, perfect. He he wants one. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Be a hard pass for me on the pass, even though I kind of like. I like the what Cameo does. I think it's n- the novelty of it makes a lot Very of sense. Very interesting, yeah. Very interesting. I mean, sooner or later with all our numbers, you're you're going to have a Cameo. Joey right? for real does for real. He does have yeah, a Cameo? Um, but it says the Barry McGonthry Jr. character. Oh. He birthdays, he does them. I don't know if he does them all the time, but I mean, makes a little side cash. He does them, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So. It's a it's a cool it's a it's a neat platform if somebody had a great idea basically. And yes, they did. I want to get the Island Boys to say uh, <laughs> for your birthday. I love that. That's, they're so have them sing me like my going to the islands by the Island Boys, like going oh, to Turks and Caicos. Shit, I didn't even think about that. You know, we could have played that today. I could have them sing Kokomo by the Beach Boys. <laughs> They'd probably do it way down in Kokomo. Yeah, or uh, play uh, 
Pina coladas. They would probably do anything yeah. for money, I would think, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't clear, think they, they, clearly. They, from the look of them, there's nothing that they would say, you know what? That's too much. <laughs> I mean, they, have, they have 400 tattoos on their face. On like, their face. Yeah. Yep, their so, hair sticks up really high. Uh, so, um, Finally, <clears throat> uh, today, Valentine's Day ads can negatively impact mental health, particularly among men. Valentine's Day ads tend to tell a very particular story that men are obligated to spend exorbitant amounts of money on romantic gifts. Otherwise, their partners will think less of them. Mm. Here's what experts have to say about the cultural narrative surrounding Valentine's Day and how it affects the mental health of some men. Mm. And to read all of this, you go to thedrum.com. Yeah, you're not. I was like, are the you going to read? No, we're okay. going to stop it there. Uh, I, I don't feel that way. Yeah. I have been married for... 15 plus years at this point. <laughs> yeah. Um, You're in the don't care phase. It's it's not don't care. It, it's honestly that my, my wife doesn't really care about yeah. Valentine's Day. It's a, obviously like manufactured bullshit holiday, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a Hallmark holiday. Sure. But we'll, we were talking about earlier. I mean, we'll get each other cards and like a week later, they're both just still sitting there unopened. Like it's not. I will say this. Here's where I'll agree to like. I want to show appreciation to my wife. Sure. And so like in anniversaries and birthdays and like those are yeah, all those things. This does. I don't look. I have no. I don't put mental. I wouldn't. Call, I'd stop short of like depressive or uh, <laughs> like, like truly like, you know, hardcore. Right. But I will say You're a couple as a man that has. Yeah. That has four four kids. Sure. Runs four businesses pretty much sure. now. Um, and wants to show my wife appreciation and love, it does put like a, yet another day like like to yeah. go that that this day has to be the day it, instead of like maybe a normal like surprise flowers or something like that, which are probably more meaningful. Yeah, and right, you know. So again, what level of stress it is or or uh, mental anguish? Yeah, <laughs> I don't no, know. Not a lot of anguish. It's not. It's not because I don't want to do something for her. I feel like I'm. I want to. Yeah, you know? sure. I'm not. I'm in a marriage. I actually like being in. Sure. Yeah. Which know? is yeah, fantastic. <laughs> a lot <laughs> of people aren't. A lot of people aren't. But it, yeah, I thought that was interesting. It's I, so I I will admit I'm gonna confess right now, Nick. There is a little something in the back. Even we don't do this that stuff much. There is a little something in the back of your head. You're conditioned to be like, well, but maybe I should get her. That's right. Like you don't feel like you did enough. Right. Like it, is, know, it doesn't like bother that, me for it doesn't like, bother you, but for a second, it's, it's another like, thing. Like I got a card, I got mayor flowers, yeah. but, you know, like, but should I have done X? Should I have gotten? Yeah. I mean, what do you really, we're past the stage, which, and you haven't been married to Nicole <laughs> quite as long as I've been married, but uh, I don't know. What do you do? You buy some big fancy piece of jewelry. That's more of an anniversary thing, right? Yep. I mean, you do chocolates. Like that's like, yeah. It's like putting weight on them. Cliche. Yeah, you don't want to do that. <laughs> so don't my wife doesn't listen <laughs> to this. I hope yours is not either. Uh <laughs> I was totally kidding. Yep. Me, oh yep. yeah. Adding weight. That's what they want. Those are jokes. Uh, yeah. Those jokes. are all jokes. But yeah, it's like flowers and it's like, I mean, come on. Yeah. I do have a you want to hear I know we're we're getting short on time. I do have a quick Valentine's Day hack. Do you want to hear it? Yes. Okay. So you go to the store. Let's just call it a CVS. Pick out the card you want to buy for your wife, right? Or, you know, significant other, whatever. Take a picture of it. Well, it's almost. What you do is you find another card and either take a picture of that or take a pen in with you and just write the sentiment from this card in this card. And so then you've got a so nice card, but then you also you looks wrote, like you. So it's your note, your special note. It looks like you came up with something like, oh. oh. Your wife's like, oh, my gosh, this is really. Yeah. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> that many. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> it's pretty good. This, this is That's going to be the title of the uh, the episode is Valentine Hack. Valentine's Day Hack. Yes. Wait till the very end. <laughs> and get yeah. to the end. I just, you know, right, we write out one of those long sappy ones. Like, like you know, there are moments where, sure. you know, we th think about time. It's and up to you. How it passes. <laughs> it's up to you. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, this may be a day. But for me, it's, a, it's a lifetime. Yeah, that's excellent. <laughs> you see, I can, I can. If, you should if get a this job doesn't in like work marketing out, or something. Yeah, if it doesn't work out, I'm gonna write Valentine's cards. Yeah, well, yeah. me too. Yes. <laughs> so there you have it. Uh, hey guys, Sunday, Sunday is the Super Bowl. Uh, 
next we're gonna have a shortened week uh because i'll be on the beach in turks and caicos but joe and i will do an episode earlier in the week that we'll release on friday right we'll review maybe be a lot of maybe not even be news be a lot of reviewing the cool. ads yeah. that we saw our thoughts on them the winners and losers even maybe maybe a winners and losers maybe we should think and write those down yeah. the radcast winners and losers of the super of bowl the super bowl including whatever team sure who do you think is gonna win I have this sneaky feeling that it's like the Bengals. Or yeah, something. me too. I, I don't get me wrong. I think the Rams are favored for a reason, and they very well could win. Was it three points? I thought it was a little higher than that, but it's Might be. close. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. It feels like it. They just feel like one of those teams, some destiny, like yeah. where they you get on a roll and it just happens. But I'm uh, gonna say you know. twenty-four, twenty-one, Bengals. Mm. Write that down. We've got that down in the Radcast. I'm gonna say. I'm hoping for a higher score, an interesting Super Bowl. Sure. So just had a wishful thinking so that, you know, I don't get tired of drinking beer all night. Sure. Um, Ultras. 31-28. It'll be a better the game. The Bengals. It's a little more offense. Yeah. And hoping T. Higgins, Clips, and Grad, one of my dudes, yep. goes off for like 100-plus yards. He has been. He has been. Stud. Playing well. So uh, let's Handsome go. young man as well. He is. And <laughs> uber talented. Well, I mean, yeah. That goes without saying. He, He's, um... The pride and joy of Clemson there. I think we got a few Tigers in the game, actually. Yeah, I saw a listing. I, I'm trying to think of who else. I can't think of who else right now. Some guys on the defensive side, yeah. I think. Yeah. I do think, though, I'll talk out of both sides of my mouth, that, sure. that L.A. has some dudes on defense that could really make it uh, oh quite, quite a nightmare if they don't control the line of scrimmage. If the Donald, don't, right? Yeah, Aaron Donald's the best player probably in the game. Probably. And, Ricky Von Miller rushing with Aaron Donald clogging the middle, yep. and then they had the best cornerback, Jalen Ramsey, in the league. So yep. it, I'm just, I just want a good game. Sure, you know, I, I, I yeah. do think, I just hope they. I think fun. LA's either going to run away with it, yeah, or the Bengals are going to squeak it out like they've been squeaking out every game. Yeah, and I feel like it's there. I don't think it's in between. I don't think it's. I do not think the Bengals are going to beat. The Rams like thirty five to seven. No, I don't think so either. But I could see the Rams winning twenty eight to seven. Sure. If they can't like stop the defensive front of LA. So yeah. we'll see. I could yeah. It's a who knows anyways, but it's depends on who's getting paid the I most. Just, I hope both teams <laughs> I hope both teams have fun. That's what I'm really Yeah, that's what you hope for. Yeah. It's all about fun. <laughs> Speaking of fun, I hope you'll go check out up and coming dot series. We just started our Instagram page for the series we are producing. There's gonna be a lot of PR coming out locally on that. So uh can't give away too much, but I followed the page last night. Hey, we'll start posting more to it. We'll get some of the original skits that, that came up, some behind the scenes stuff. We're not gonna give away any plot because hey, I'm trying to sell a series around here. Mm -hmm. But uh in all seriousness, go follow that and go follow the radical formula. Doing a lot of exciting stuff on that. If you're out there looking to up your marketing game and your mindset, doing that with Andy Murphy, it's really cool. And appreciate your support there. Just Google the, the Radical Formula. You'll find all of it, radicalformula.com and on Instagram. So give that a go. Do it. Any final thoughts, Joe? I'm um, looking forward to the Super Bowl, man. I mean, that's that's the next big thing, right? Yep. So should be fun. Nick, we didn't get your prediction. Nick got a prediction? Quick. Don't think about it. Bengals. Bengals. Okay. Oh, all right. Clean sweep. There we have it. Cool. Well, I hope everyone is having a great week no matter what time or place you're at. This could be 2025 for all we know because these things last forever. They do. They're out there forever. You know where to find us, theradcast.com. Search for all our content. Search for me, Ryan Alford, on all the social channels. Joe Hamburg. We'll see you next time on The Radcast. To listen to full episodes or to contact us, visit us on the web at theradcast.com or follow our host at Ryan Alford on Instagram. Thanks for tuning in.